Hello, and welcome to this short video about how to use Oropub's stress identifier. We have quite a few things to talk about in this short video. First, how you typically do the basic setup before the analysis. Then we'll move on how to estimate the analysis duration. And then we're going to look at two different blocks of time, daytime and the evening, in determining what stresses the CPU subsystem. And then finally, we're actually going to look at real results and talk about how to analyze the results so you can use them practically in your daily work. So let's get started with the basic setup. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to connect as the StatsPack repository owner, which is typically perfstat. After I do this, I'm going to set both timing on and server output on so I can see everything um, that I could possibly see during the actual analysis. Now I am going to check my license. I don't do this all the time, but this is something you can do at any time just to get a good idea what the licensing situation is. And everything looks like it checks out fine, so we're okay to begin um, the next segment. Now we're going to look at estimating an actual analysis duration. This is a function, and so we can just use a select statement to get the results. There is the actual name of the function. I'm going to give it a run ID of weekday, but when you do the estimation, it really doesn't make any difference what you call that. We're looking at what is stressing the CPU subsystem, and next I'm highlighting the database ID and the instance number. This identifies the stats pack broad data set that I will be pulling information from. Now, that data will be further constrained by the date range, which is about two years, and I'm only interested in Monday through Friday, and since this is daytime, I will start at 9 a.m., and I will stop at just before 5 p.m. So now I have fully constrained this and identified the stats pack data that I will do the analysis on. So I submit the function. In around 5 to 15 seconds, you typically get the result. And as you can see, giving, this const giving these constraints, the analysis should take around 250 seconds. Now we're going to move on and do an actual daytime CPU stress identification. We're going to execute the procedure ID stress to do the analysis. Now notice all the parameters in the ID stress procedure here are exactly the same as we just submitted in the estimation. We do this on purpose so you can actually create the commands you want to run in a text file and then paste them directly into SQL Plus. We find that this dramatically reduces any topographical errors. The analysis has begun and just a few minutes later it will come back to us. Now the results are actually stored in a results table and we will take a look at that in just a little bit. Now we're going to go ahead and do an even CPU stress identification session. I'm going to paste in the procedure right here and if you look closely there are two main differences. One is the run ID is now weekday evening so I can identify this specific session and then way to the right you can see we are starting the analysis at 5 p.m. and we will end at just before midnight. So we're going to get the evening runs for the evening data during the weekdays. So I'll go ahead and submit that and in this particular stats pack data set there is a lot more data in the evening than was being stored during the day for whatever reason and so this will take nearly a half hour to actually run. When the results are finished just like before the analysis results are stored in a results table, which we will then use to analyze in just a few minutes. Now we're going to move on to analyzing and interpreting the results. Before we get into the details of your actual analysis that I just ran, I'd like to highlight a few things. First, we now know what specifically is stressing the system, and this is based upon your data and within the selected time constraints that you selected. Next. Of all the endless things we can learn about Oracle, you now know what to focus on with the limited time that you have available. And now you're also going to know how your application and its workload is stressing the system, and also how the operating system is responding to those stresses. Now you're going to be able to be watchful for any changes that affect those top stressors that have been identified, which means you're going to know exactly what to monitor. And that is powerful information that you now have that you didn't have before. Now let's take a look of the results of the analysis sessions that we had just run. 
I'm going to run one of the standard reports that are included with the product, which is called sample report number one. What I'm going to highlight are the results, or the analysis results, of the two different sessions that we ran. As you recall, the first one was the analysis during the daytime of the weekdays, and the second is during the evening of the weekdays. Now I'm going to zoom in on those so we get a much better view of, of what we're looking at here. I want you to notice primarily the start time and the end time of the two different sessions. You notice the weekdays, we started in at 9 a.m. in the morning and end just before 5 p.m. And on the evenings, we start at 5 p.m. and end just before midnight. Now, the really interesting information here is the top stressors during the daytime and during the evening. You'll notice that during the morning or the daytime, the top stressor was the recursive CPU usage activity. And that got a stressor strength of nearly 100, which is the best we can possibly get. Now during the evening, that top stressor was the execution count, and that also received a very high stressor strength. Now it's important to understand the value here, because what we have identified based upon your real data and given the real constraints that you submitted, we now know what is stressing the system both during the daytime and during the evening. And they're not the same. And that's because the workloads that are running on the system during the day and during the evening are very different. And now we know what we need to monitor, what we need to watch out for, and what we need to focus on, not only just during the day, but also during the evening. Well, if you would like some more, please go ahead and spend some time and look at the online FAQs. You know, you can also download, install, and experiment and use the software for free in try and buy mode. Thank you so much for watching this short video about basic stress identifier usage.